Right, so we're going to look at low acrobatics. Um, the principles of low acrobatics, what are they, why do we do them? Low acrobatics is basically anything that involves moving around on the floor, falling to the floor, or moving over, under, or around objects. So, what we've got to understand is that, um, that there is actually a set number of principles that we need to understand. So we're going to look at them one at a time. The first one is quite familiar to the Vasiliev Sistema crowd in that it's basically soft parts of the floor, so soft parts of the body hit the floor. So what I'm trying to say there is that we don't actually crash our head into the floor, we don't hit our elbows. So we're looking at when we, we move around on the floor an object, if we try and use the muscular parts of our body. Yeah? The reason we do that is because the muscular parts of the body can give, the bones cannot. So the floor is a hard surface, it's not on mats. Um, and if we um, work on this surface, our muscles will become softer. So first thing, soft. Parts of the body. Next part, low angle. And I'll be asking you about these all the time. Low angle. Now the reason I say low angle, um, if you think of uh, a bullet being shot at a wall. So there's a wall and I shoot my bullet. If the bullet hits the wall, the bullet will deform and crunch up and fragment because it's hitting the wall at 90 degrees. However, if I shot my bullet at the wall from over here and it came in like this and ricocheted off over there, the bullet wouldn't get as deformed because the bullet would lose energy in the angle. So any point that we are practicing low acrobatics, whether it be rolling over a table, underneath something, sliding to the floor, rolling across the floor, it doesn't matter. What we are trying to achieve is a low angle. So you need to understand these things because what I'll be saying to you while you're practicing your rolling is you need to lower the angle. Where is your low angle here? And it makes a difference as to why we practice the rolls the way we practice them. The last one relates to breath. Breath has become very popular within the circles of Sistema Russian Martial Arts. Um, but it's, the, it's not as complicated um, as the, the, the Ryabko school, say, makes it now. Um, simple, with low acrobatics, <coughs> breathe out as we go down, breathe in as we go up, period. Now, why do we do that? If we think about our bodies and I'm collapsing towards the floor, it is exactly that, it's a collapse of structure. So we are compressing our structure, we need to exhale. So if we are rolling and we are compressing, or moving towards the floor, we exhale. And if we stand up, it's a, it's a, a building of structure, it's making our structure stronger and straighter, and the breath naturally does it. Because if we don't breathe and we just um, allow our breath to kind of like free wheel, if you like, and just follow the movement, if we compress, it naturally it exhales. Breathe in as we come in. We don't have to try and breathe. If we just don't breathe and squat, you can almost hear my breath naturally being driven by my movement. So as we go down, we breathe out. As we go up, we breathe in. They are basically the principles of low acrobatics. There's only three. But we want to try and keep things as simple as possible. So everything that we do from this point on Think about those things. Think about making sure that it's soft parts of our body that hits whatever it is we're rolling on, that we have a low angle, and that we have breathe out as we go down and in as we come up. We're not holding our breath. That is it, period. And they are the principles. So now we'll look at some specific examples and then build up, oh, sorry, front roll. Sometimes known as front somersault within Sistema. Um, I think that's just a translation issue myself because somersault to us in the UK is like way and over. This is not that, it's, it's more of a roll. So what we're looking at is front roll, we're coming forward, rolling there. That is it. So let's break it down into a few issues. One more time. From here, I'm falling forward. Notice, first thing, that I'm not falling here. I'm not trying to roll here because that would be a steep angle. There's one principle. When I roll, I'm not putting my hands down and jarring my joints. 
I'm working with soft parts of the body. Next principle, and I exhale as I go forward. So I'm gonna show you one more time, and you fall forward and out, there, and it brings me up. So we're gonna break it down now. And this is the first exercise I want you doing. Step, hand, hand, shoulder, roll. The reason why we do this is it encourages us to come at shallow angle instead of falling here. Step, same hand, same hand, shoulder. Now, we turn our hand this way and we put our shoulder on the floor. See this position here that I've come to? This is the position I want us to do before we even get to come into our feet. Because what happens is, hand, sorry, hand, hand here, we roll from one side to the other and we roll down the meat on our side and I'm on my side here. A common mistake is people roll down the side but then they roll onto their hip bone here. If you roll onto that hip, you're gonna get what's um, known as knobbies. Anyone that's read Angry White Pajamas about an Aikido guy goes to Japan and trains, he gets knobbies. And basically, these bones here get bruised and battered, particularly on concrete. Whereas if you roll down the side here and roll onto your leg here, you won't get them. This position here is called position safe. My leg is bent. If my leg was straight and someone stood on it, it's gonna hurt the joint. But if my leg's here, it won't hurt the joint. So this again is protecting the joint. It's bulking up the muscles here. So again, it's soft part. This leg here is nice and relaxed. So I can use it to fend off, to kick, to propel the next roll. And this arm here is ready to protect. And this hand is palm down. One of the reasons being I can pick things up and throw them, but also because it allows us to get like a tactile feel of the terrain that we're on. And that will become quite important with some of the other things that we do. So all I want you guys doing is find a spot, one foot, hand, hand, shoulder, go onto that shoulder, over onto the other shoulder, and then down the side to this position here. We'll worry about the coming up uh, in a moment, because we can do this bit here. Have a go at that. What we're gonna look at is Paul's rolling, say. And he makes contact first with this muscle here, this area here. Again, soft part of the body, not a hard, bony area. So he makes contact with this here. He rolls here, and then here down this area here and across to here so it comes across and then down on the side so the pressure is across round down and onto that not hitting up here onto what we we'll call affectionately knobbies and we don't want them getting bruised because particularly rolling on concrete it's horrible and you get those bruised and you'll feel every roll you do for the rest of the camp so you don't want that save the knobbies make sure that you roll meaty 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 down and onto the side here cheers paul so if i'm falling when i fall i want to go i'm going to break it down one two here there sideways see i'm on the right shoulder i roll across to my left shoulder i roll down the meat's at the side of the spine not on the spine and i'm on my side onto my thighs and I'm not hitting that knobby bit that sticks out the back. That's the position we want to get onto. So that rolling across. For those that are rolling with a light coloured clothing on, you should see watermarks down the side, across the top, but not down the spine. The reason for this is that if there's something sharp sticking up, like a stone, a curbstone, a bit of glass, and it hits into our spine, it can cause a lot of problems and it can injure us. Whereas if it goes into the soft muscle, it's less problematic. And that's important that what we're looking at is reducing our injury potential. Everything we do, we try and reduce the injury potential that we are likely to suffer from. Yeah? So one more time, I fall, one, two, three, roll over. There. Have a go at that. Okay. So how to stand now? We've got to this position safe. How do we get up to our feet? We could roll and then try and stand from here and go, ah, 
uses a lot of energy and um, the whole point of Sistema is it's about efficiency, trying to get to get up efficiently. So as we come forward here, I push this leg out, there's a counterbalance. This is basically a, counter a cantilever. This is attached to my hip. By pushing this out, the, leg, the weight of the leg brings me up to seated anyway. So from here, and I roll up around this axis of the shin here, to this kind of kneeling position. Now from here, if I try to stand up again, my foot's in the wrong position. It's not underneath me. It'd be hard, I'd have to do stuff. So from here, all I do is I corkscrew my, my knee out and like a spiral this way. And then spiral back. So I don't get to here and then go with my leg muscles, only my leg muscles. Here, spiral, spiral. So it's like I'm going up the mountain with a mountain road. It doesn't go straight up to the top of the mountain. It kind of goes up like this. Anyone has been to mountains? So, from this position here, we're rolling forwards, we come up to here, we rotate, we rotate, we stand. It's a whole roll, I fall forward, here, roll, up. So for you guys, those that are more confident can now do the roll. Aim to go out, not down, because we want shallow angle. Those that are not so confident, just do a few more with the hands and just build up that confidence and we're looking at rolling and then coming to our feet in one movement so from here I fall and I'm up ready to roll again those that have trained with me for a while do exactly that step roll up step roll up this is a basic exercise from Kudoshnikov Sistema and we learn to roll, turn around and it's in fluid movement. Roll one side, roll the other side. So have a go at that and uh, play with that and build up to doing that.